Hello out there all you geographers and welcome to a how-to video on how to make a population pyramid using the Australian Bureau of Statistics data and Microsoft Excel. The first thing I'm going to do is open up Microsoft Excel. I'm just going to search it just like so and open up a blank Excel spreadsheet. Just like that. The first thing I'm going to do is put my headings in. So I'm going to put in one heading called age and then I'm going to put male population. And I'm going to put in 2020 because I'm using the 2020 data. And in the C column, I'm going to put female population. In brackets, 2020. The next thing I'm actually going to do is move over my headings so I can see those headings quite clearly. I'm also going to zoom out so I can show you guys everything a bit better as well. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect my data. So I'm going to go back to the Australian Bureau of Statistics website. And the link for this website is in the description of this video. By copying and pasting that into the address bar, it'll take you straight to the website I'm on now. The next thing you need to do is search for your region once you're on the Bureau's website. The region I'm going to do for today is Capera, the suburb in Brisbane. Your region will be different to mine though. So now it's come up with Capera. I'm going to click on where it says view data here in the highlighted section. I'm now going to scroll down. I don't need this information here. I'm going to keep scrolling. I am going to click on this download XLSX button here. And this is all the data you need. Open it up because it does take a little while to load. And it'll just open another Excel spreadsheet, um, quite a big one, which is why it does take a fair while to load. And the heading we need to find is population. We're not worried about any of the other data in it. We're just worried about the population data as well. So I remember the link for the Australian Bureau of Statistics is in the description of this video as well. So here we are with our data. Click on Enable Editing. Again, we don't need to worry about any of this data here. We just need to worry about the population data. So click on Pop for Population. Um, just like in my last spreadsheet, I'm going to move these headings over just so I can see them all pretty clearly. I'm probably more worried about this one though. Okay. Now. This is the first bit of data I'm after. I'm after the data for the number of males in each of these age groups here. So I'm going to go back into my document and I'm going to start putting those ages in. So these are the ages and you can copy them like how I do them here. So 0 to 4 is the first one. The next one is 5 to 9. Now that's going to come up with the 5th of September. So to stop it from doing that, you just press on the comma and then you go 5 to 9 again and then it will come up with it again in the correct way. You'll see it'll do the same. I don't want a date, I actually want the number. So I'm going to go comma 10 to 14. And you'll see by that little green arrow in the corner there, it's going to remember that that's what I want. I want numbers, not dates. So 15 to 19 is the next one. 20 to 24 is the next one. 25 to 29 is the one after that. 30 to 34. 35 to 39 is the next one. 40 to 44. 45 to 49, 50 to 54, 55 to 59, 60 to 64, 65 to 69, 70 to 74, 75 to 79, 80 to 84, and then the last one is 85 and over so that it matches the headings that are on this document here. So you can see that last one is 85 and over. Now I'm after the 2020 data because it is the most recent. So I am going to make sure I get the correct data. So I'm going to go males 0 to 4 and I am going to click and drag. So I'm highlighting all this data here and then I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard. So I copy that data. I'm going to go back into my data here and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to click and drag down here and then I'm going to press Control V. So all that male population data is in there. Now I'm going to do the same for the females. So I'm going to scroll down. I don't want this data here because that's it in percentages, the population in percentages. I'm worried about the population in the numbers. So female 0 to 4 all the way down to 85 and over. That didn't want to work. Now that's working too well. Probably because it's quite a big document, it's a bit laggy. There we go. Okay, then Control C. 
Same again, clicking and dragging all the way down, then Control V to paste. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to move my data over so that I have it in the right places. So I'm going to move that over to the D column, and then I'm just going to move the heading for male population into the C column. So make sure that your document looks like mine at the moment. And now we're going to do something pretty tricky. We're going to put in a formula that's going to input our data for us to make it look like a population pyramid. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in equals capital B and the number 2 then an asterisk which is shift 8 and then I want minus 1 and you'll see it'll pop up with the negative of what's, whatever is in the section there. The next thing I want to do is click and drag in the bottom right hand corner all the way down and you'll see all that data is inputted for us now. I'm also going to put the, this formula in the description of the video under the ABS link um, so you'll be able to copy and paste that formula in there. I'll read it very clearly. All right, we have our information now ready for a population pyramid. Now, to do this, you need it's a little bit tricky uh, because we don't want this data here. We actually want this negative data uh, so that um, it comes out on both sides of the population pyramid. So I'm going to click and drag down to age like that. And now I'm going to hold the control button on my keyboard so I've just started holding my control button and I'm going to click and drag down this column here for male population. I'm still holding the control button and I'm going to do the same for female population as well. And now I can let go of the control button. Now I'm going to go insert and then I'm going to put on recommended charts and I'm going to click on this one here called a stacked bar. That's the one you want to have. And you see it's going to come up with my population pyramid here. You can get rid of the title, you don't need it. All right, now we need to fix up a few things in this population pyramid. So you can see you start off with, we've got some negative numbers here which we don't want, and we can't see these numbers in the middle. And we might want to change the colors as well. So let's start by make, turning these numbers into positive numbers. All I did then was just double click um, on that first number there. And I don't want to look at access options, I want to click on number and I want to go to custom and now I want to change this format code here and I will put the exact code that I input in the description as well so you can copy and paste it but we're going to get rid of this first zero we're going to put in a hashtag then I'm going to get rid of, rid of this negative value here and then that zero, I'm also going to change to a hashtag. So I'll copy and paste that and put it in the description. Then you press add, and you'll see that these negative numbers have now turned into positive numbers. So I can get rid of that. The next thing I want to do is I want to um, move these numbers over to the side. So I'm just going to double click on those as well. And you'll see um, we get our four max format access menu open again. This time I'm worried about the labels button. Here it says next to axis, I want to select low and it's going to move those numbers over to the side. Don't know why it didn't do it there. There we go, just had to be a little bit bigger. So those numbers are now, are now moved over to the side. I'll show you how to change uh, these colors as well to make it look like more like a population pyramid. So the first one I'm going to change is the female population color. I'm just going to double click on it and I want to click on fill and line in here. I'm going to click on fill and you can select the color there. It's normally a, right, a lighter red color. Um, so I'm going to select red and I'm going to change the lightness of that red there. So now that's changed the color of female population for me there. And this population pyramid is looking ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and I want to click on copy. Um, do it in the same area I did it so it copies the whole chart. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I need a new blank word document and I'm going to paste it just by pressing control V. Now to input it correctly into geographical conventions, I'm going to type in a figure. Let's say this is the first figure on my assessment task. Figure one, population pyramid of Capera, and then in brackets I'm going to put 2020 because I use the 2020 data, and then source 
I'm going to put Australian Bureau of Statistics. And that's how it should look in your assessment task or any sort of work you have in geography. Um, you might be asked to talk about some of the trends of your population pyramid. So for instance, one of the trends of my population pyramid here is that I have, uh, firstly, a lot of females um, over the age of 85. That's a bit of an outlier. I can see I've got some bigger sections here in the age ranges of 30 to 34 and 35 to 39 for both males and females. So that indicates that I have probably a lot of families because I also have a lot of uh, zero to four to say 10 year olds. So I've got a lot of parents um, who are in the age range between 30 and 39 um, with kids that are between the ages of zero to 10. You can see there's not many teenagers or young people. So in the ages of 15 to 19 or 20 to 24, there might not be many schools around the area or no universities or any recreational facilities for young people to engage in. So that's why I still get a bit more people in the 30 to 39 age range. Um, and you can see generally there looks to be more females than males, which is an interesting trend as well. So those are some of the things you've got to look at when you end up making your population pyramid. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe if you want to stay updated to any other how-to videos that we make for geography. And good luck with making your population pyramid.